Hello, in this video we're going to see how a perfectly competitive firm that produces two goods maximizes profit. A firm sells two goods, good one and good two, in perfectly competitive markets. The price of good one is $10 and the price of good two is $15. The cost of production is given by the following equation. We want to solve for the firm's profit maximizing output of each good and determine its total revenue, total cost, and profit. A perfectly competitive firm maximizes profit by setting price equal to marginal cost. We're going to set the price for good one equal to the marginal cost of good one and then set the price of good two equal to the marginal cost of good two. So we're going to solve for marginal cost. Here is our cost equation. The marginal cost for good one is the partial derivative of the cost equation with respect to good one. So the partial derivative of two that's treated as constant, that's zero. This next term, the exponent two comes down in front, so two times 0 0.05 equals 0 0.1. We subtract one from this exponent, leaving us with just Q subscript one. The other two terms here, they're treated as a constant, so they drop out. The partial derivative of the cost equation with respect to good 2 gives us the marginal cost of good 2. So once again, this 2 is treated as a constant, that's 0. This Q subscript 1 term is also treated as a constant, so the partial derivative of a constant is once again 0. The partial derivative of Q subscript 2 is just 1. And the partial derivative of our last term, the exponent here on the Q subscript 2 term comes down in front, so 2 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.2. Subtracting 1 from that exponent just leaves us with Q subscript 2. Now setting our profit maximizing condition for good 1. Setting the price of good 1, which is $10, equal to the marginal cost. And now solving for good 1. Dividing through by 0 0.1. 10 divided by 0 0.1 means the firm will produce 100 units of good 1. And the profit maximizing condition for good 2, setting the price of good 2, which is $15 equal to the marginal cost. And solving for good 2, we're going to first subtract 1 from both sides, so 15 minus 1 leaves us 14. And then dividing through by 0 0.2, 14 divided by 0 0.2 gives us 70. Now let's get total revenue. Revenue is going to be the price of good one times the quantity of good one plus the price of good two times the quantity of good two. The price of good one is $10 and we solve for the quantity over here. That's 100. The price of good two we said is $15 and we found that the quantity to produce of good two is 70. So doing the math here we get our total revenue. And to get total cost, here's our cost equation. We're just going to plug in for Q subscript 1, we're going to plug in 100. And for Q subscript 2, which appears in two places, we're going to plug in 70. Making those substitutions and simplifying, we get the total cost. And profit is total revenue minus total cost. So 2,050 minus 1,062, we get the firm's total profit. Okay, that's it.